Hey everybody, Coach Kaylee here. I have Abby who's going to be helping me today. She's our crossover from youth to minis. She's a little stud, so she's going to help us work back handsprings at home. So what I'm going to have you guys do right now is, I know just a few pieces of equipment that I'm going to have you grab. You guys, if you have a mat, that's great. Um, if you are next to your bed or a couch, that's great as well, because you're going to be using both of those. Um, another thing is if you have ankle weights, that would be good. If not, that's okay. And then two paper plates. So ready? Go ahead and grab those now. Ready? Hurry up. Five, four, three, two. Go grab those weights and stuff. See, she has to grab that. All right. <laughs> now that we have all the equipment that we're going to use, I'm going to have you go ahead and start with 50 jumping jacks and 50 high knees. On your marks, get set, and go. 50. Good job. Can you keep it at high speed? Keep going from high knee to blade. What number are you on? 22. She's at 22, which means you guys should be still more close to there. So we have to warm up in order to make sure that our bodies are ready for what we're doing at this point. Okay? Keep going. Almost there. I think. What number are you on? 24. <laughs> 50 is a lot, but you know what? We gotta make sure we're getting warm. Go, 50 high knees. Get your knees to your chest. Good. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. We're going to roll over and we're going to do all of that all over again. So, fifteen hollow, fifteen hollow body rocks. Ready? Get those feet up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, good. Eight, squeeze your ears. Nine, ten, eleven, good. Twelve, thirteen, squeeze your ears. Fourteen, 
15, then we're going to flip over and we're going to do our arch body rocks. 15 more times. Okay, ready? Three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and fifteen. Alright, now that she's sufficiently dead, we're going to go ahead and start working on our back and knees. Now that we're done with all of those body rocks, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start working on the idea of our back and spring shapes. So one thing that we always like to start on is always doing our candlesticks to our, uh, we're going to do candlesticks just to standing. So ready, 10 of those. Let's do, let's do 15 actually. 15 is a good number. So candlesticks, just stand up. Toes drive up to the sky. Ready? That's one. Good. One, two, three, four. Good. Good. Two. Good. Toes up. Squeeze your arms. Now what I want you to do is if you do have a mat at home, I really want you to snap those hands down to the ground. Ready? Go. Snap. There you go. Good. Just like that. Good. Why are we snapping? Because what's happening is she's really driving through those shoulders. Do about 10 more. Good. Three toes up high. Good. Four. Good. Five. Good. Six. Good. Seven. There you go. Eight. Two more. Now we're going to go ahead and go into our fast arm drills. So what we're going to have you do, so if you have, if you have, uh, if you're over by your couch or your bed, you're going to go ahead and take the mat and you're going to turn it. You want to turn it so you're either laying down, so you're able to lay down and put your feet on your couch or on your bed, okay? You want to make sure your toes are nice and pointed, and those of everybody should know exactly what we're doing. We're going to do fast arms, so we're going to do 15 twice, okay? Ready? And go. When you do fast arms, you're going to make sure you're lifting through your hips and pointing your toes, okay? Good, just like that. Squeeze through those ankles, through the toes, point your toes. Make sure we're going to do 15 twice. Good. Give it a rest. Count for five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to do it all over again. Ready? Go. Good. That's one thing that you want to make sure that you're doing because 
You're using gravity. You're using the tools against what you need to be doing. You have 15? Yes. I don't know if that was 15. Oh, I'm not counting. But we're going to do it again. So the next one's going to be 15. Let's get ready. 15. Good. Making sure. So what she's doing right now is she's lifting through her heels. You need to work on keeping your toes on the ground. Ready? Toes on the ground. Go. Toes. Yes. Just like that. Okay, so if you watch her sometimes when her toes lift up, then you know that she's going to try to back handspring off of her heels. So really making sure that we're pushing our toes down. If your heel starts to come up, then you're probably too far away and try to scoot back just a little bit. Good. Big jump. Big push. Good job. I hope you're counting. Are you in? Do 
going under your arm? Twelve. Twelve. Good. Now our arms are starting to come out. Come Right now, I'm gonna have, go ahead and pause this and then go and take a 30 second water break and come right back, okay? And pause. All right, everybody, we're back. Um, hopefully you guys went and got some water because now what I'm gonna have you do is go ahead and take it over to a wall. If you have a mat, that's great. If you don't, that's okay as well. What we're gonna work on is the second and end part of our back handsprings. So one thing that's really important for back handsprings are handstand snap downs. So we're going to do two different types of handstand snap downs today. The first type you're going to do is do an overextended handstand snap down. So if you have a mat, I want you to go ahead and try to turn it this way so it's nice and secure up against the wall. When you're doing your handstand overextended handstand snap down, I want you to try to put your hands right here in the middle and then your toes are going to come against the wall because we're going to work on snapping them up and away. Ready? Big one. So she's right here. You see how she's in that nice arched position? She's going to come from here, she's going to tap her feet once, twice, and then she's going to snap them down and hands up as fast as she can. Try to get that rebound out of that, okay? So those of you who have a hard time getting up through that back handspring, then that's what we're missing right there. Here we go. We're going to do 15 of these. Ready? Okay. Good. One, two, hips up, set. Good. Just like that. Try to snap up to the mat. Okay? Good. So that's one. Let's just do 10. Point, 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 push. Keep going. Ready? Nine more. Push, push. Good. Again, making sure our feet are standing nice and close together. Come on. All right. So, again, we have, she's about seven more. As she starts to get tired, then you can start to reach closer to the wall. Okay? So say if, oh no, I'm getting tired, go ahead and turn that mat and just reach close to the wall so hands a little bit further away. Ready? Good. So that should help. Okay? So if you're not really good at these hand overextended handstands, keep going. If you're not good at these overextended handstand snap downs, it is okay to do it closer to the wall. But you need to make sure you're really snapping down and pulling your tummy to the, uh, towards the bigger. So it should be snapped down towards the bigger. Okay. Just like that. Five more. Both of those feet should hit the wall at the same time. Both of those feet should hit the wall and they should come off the wall together. Try not to put a hole in your parent heart. Hands closer to the edge. There you go. Feet together. Good, just like that. Yep, three more. There we go. Feet together. Feet together.
be less, it'll be a little bit, um, not as hard. Okay? Same idea with our extended handstand snap down. But if you do it without a mat, I want you to go ahead and handstand snap down to a plank position. Okay? So we'll do 10 and we'll do 15 and 8. So you go over extended handstand, feet to the wall, tap off once, and then to a plank. Good. And see how her body, go ahead and get back in there. See how her body's rounded towards the shoulder and her chin is to her chest? That is the position that we want to make sure that you're in. Ready? Let's go ahead and we're going to do 15 of those. together off the wall together. Making sure our feet are coming off the wall together. Good job. Both those feet off the wall together. It. There we go. I just want to go in car. Okay. Good job. All right. So now we're done with those. The same idea uh, with the handstand snap downs. Uh, this, if you don't have a mat, that's a really, really good alternative. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on our shoulder strength. We're almost done, and we're going to get to the fun back handspring part of what we're doing. Again, do not try back handsprings at home if you do not have them, okay? All of these drills should help you get close to doing that back handspring so it's easier for you to be able to kind of get into the gym and then get them back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on our shoulder strength. So remember how I said to grab those plates? That's what I want you to do next. So you're going to go ahead and make sure you have your plates with you. You're going to put your knees up on here. Knees up. Turn around. So you're going to put your knees up and turn around. You're going to put your hands down on these sliders, and you're going to slide them out one at a time, and then back in. Good. Just like that. Slide out, and then slide back in. Good. 15. Ready? One. Good. Two. Three. Four. At least shoot for five. Five. And then if it gets too hard, then it's okay to come in and then just go one arm, one, and then bring it in and do the other arm. Okay? If it get if that gets too hard, okay? So if sliding both out gets too hard, then you then go ahead and feel free to do it to uh, do it with one hand and then the other. Make sure we do 15. Okay? Good job. Good. From there, remember how I told you to grab either 
are sit and hands up from our uh, from a standing position. So grab them. And then we're going to do our back handstands on the other way. Nope. And you just grab them and we're going to work our hands. So we're going to work five. So you're going to do 15. Ready? You're going to go sit and up one. Sit and up two. Ready? And go. One. Good. Two of you are only two counts. But after 15, you're going to do it 15 times twice. So after about your 15th, they're going to start to get a little bit heavier. Good job. Bigger swing. Fast. Fast arms. Up. Good. Because that's how we do it with our back is Up. The faster our arms are, the easier it's going to be. Nice and fast. Up. Up. Good. Good. Is that 15? Okay, take a minute, or not a minute, more like 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and then you're going to do 15 more, and then we'll go ahead and do our back She looks like she's dead. All her hair. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do 15 more. Ready? That one's up. Good. Good. Get them over with. You got it.